Well, hello again. We are moving forward with the construction of this tabernacle. And today as we begin, I want to focus on these gifted people again. We have Bezalel and a whole team connected with him. There's another man who's mentioned Aholiab, and, but there's really a whole group of people. And we learned in the previous chapter in Exodus 35 that these are people especially Bezalel, that, that have been filled by the Holy Spirit in order to do this work of the building of the tabernacle. It's more than building. It's really the, the, uh, the intelligence and knowledge necessary, the skill, um, the craftsmanship, the teaching that's required for other things. All, all of this, that even the devising of artistic designs, all of this uh, has come from the Holy Spirit working through these gifted people, building up this movable house of worship. And we continue in 36 as, as they're going to now, it says, work in accordance with all that the Lord has commanded. Now, where did this commandment uh, come from? Well, it came from the Lord, obviously, but it came through Moses. Now, remember, Moses has really been presented to us in Exodus, which is, is really a, the story of Moses. Moses has been presented as a deliverer first. He would bring his people out of bondage. But now, that while that will continue, that will continue, yet a lot of the danger is going to come not from outside, but from actually inside them. They're going to need a deliverer that's going to be powerful to change them from the inside. And Moses will be an agent of the Word of God, just like the prophets will be later. And that will be a way of deliverance. And that's true also in terms of how this worship house gets built. It needs to be done according to the Word of the Lord. So, it's, so Moses calls them these gifted people, and especially the leaders, and they receive from Moses all the contribution that the people of Israel had for this. That This, again, is a free will offering, and much is coming in from the people, and that's an important part of this whole process. So you have Moses giving the word as to how things are supposed to be done, word from God, then you have these gifted people by the Holy Spirit that are going to be doing what they can do, and then also, I think, by the Holy Spirit, the, the people are made to be generous. And their part is to bring these contributions. And in fact, it, it said the, peop the people, you know, they brought much more than enough for doing the work. So the craftsmen came back to Moses and said, please tell the people to stop bringing things. So... They had more than enough. It was it was sufficient and more, and they had the people had to literally they had to be restrained. And see, this is the work of of God's Spirit in us. We want to see the house of God built up. We want to give glory to the name of the Lord. And so, where the Spirit is working, more than enough comes in to take care of all these needs. And so, the tabernacle is built and. And the, the, the tent that's a part of that, the frames are built, the, the, the veil, the screen, much more coming in future chapters. But they're told very specific dimensions of things. So this is being built in exactly in accord with God's plan. Now, I, I want to make the New Testament shift here. The law came through, through Moses, but grace and truth, we're told, came through Jesus Christ. And so as Moses is the mediator of the covenant of grace during the Old Testament period, during the New Testament period of the covenant of grace, uh, Jesus, the Son of God and Son of Man, is the mediator. Now he has appointed as the ascended Lord some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers— and they're to be used like skilled craftsmen, filled with the Holy Spirit. And they are bringing the word of God that, that comes to us through Jesus, our mediator, that comes through them, these appointed ones who are uh, speaking the good word about making disciples and about teaching them to observe all things whatsoever that God has commanded, Christ has commanded us. 
See, and the people are brought to give and to receive. See, what happens is they're receiving this word. And see, here's what's amazing. They are becoming the tent, the tabernacle, the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you see the New Testament uh, application of this. And, and really, this is all by the grace of God. What a tremendous gift we have to be a part of this great ministry. Let us pray. Well, Father, you are delivering us from sin and death and hell, and you have delivered us through Jesus, through his obedience and through his blood, and now through the ministry of those that you have called, we are hearing your word and we're being built up into a holy temple. And what a privilege it is, Father. And we love to give, we love to serve. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you now, today and always.